It is tails. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, start with uh, Denise with an opening statement of two minutes. Okay. So oh, they're watching time. Two. Yeah. I would, I'm sorry. Well, I apologize to you about my candidacy. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Denise Brucker. I'm running for my fourth term on the city council. I am a lifelong city resident and. Many times people want to know why exactly are you running for city council and why am I involved in city government? And the question is, the answer is twofold. One, because of being a lifelong city resident in the city of Schenectady, I have somewhat, as I would call, a, a selfish reason. I'm a homeowner, I'm a taxpayer, I've lived here at its peak, and I've also seen Schenectady in its valley. And I want to be part of the growth of the city of Schenectady and to help the city of Schenectady grow. I have seen in the last probably six months, probably some of the most progress I've seen within the city's Schenectady in a very long time. And I would like to be your representative to continue that growth. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Peggy King, um, and I have been fortunate to have served on the city council for six of the last seven years when the city and the county Democratic team, working closely with Metroplex, the Chamber, the Downtown Improvement Corporation, and the state has made huge strides in revitalizing our downtown and other areas of the city, in getting the city's fiscal house in order, in creating 3,500 new jobs, in seeing 400 million in new investments in the city, and enhancing our tax base. I would like to continue those efforts as we take steps such as the recent Key to the City program, which allows us to really start focusing more on our neighborhoods. Um, I bring 30 years of involvement in this community. I was the former Associate Dean for Student Development at SCCC, retired last October. Um, and I've been a member of numerous boards, such as the Schenectady Day Nursery, the Schenectady Symphony, the Downtown Schenectady Improvement Corporation. I also have 12 years experience serving in government, uh, including two years as President of the City Council. Um, I often told people, I said, I think I have run for, for this office more than anybody uh, because I was initially appointed to a, a term, had to run for the remaining year of the term, ran for a full four-year term, ran for a second four-year term and lost, got appointed four years later, ran for the remaining year of the term, ran for another four-year term, <laughs> and now I'm running for what will be my last four-year term and hope to get to serve two consecutive terms on, on the council. Um, I really enjoy the experience, and as I said, I, uh, I think I'm a pretty ob objective person, and I can be an independent voice as well as a team player. So that's why I'm here. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you for inviting me here tonight. My name is John Mutuviran, and I'm running for City Council. I am endorsed by the Democrats, the Conservative, the Independent, and the Working Family Party. I'm an accountant, businessman, and community leader in Schenectady. I lived in Mount Pleasant with my wife and two daughters. They both attend Schenectady Public School and are doing exceptionally well. I am running for city council because I believe in affordable taxes, better neighborhood, stronger community, accountability, and leadership, more opportunity for children and family, and expand intergovernmental cooperation to save taxpayer dollars. As an accountant businessman, I will find a way to reduce operation costs, increase efficiency, eliminate unnecessary spending, promote shared services, and work to make Schenectady receive its fair share of sales tax. Support small business, continue to support street paving, and find ways to make retirement and healthcare costs affordable. We must make big non for profit hold on many police and fire calls to their location. The bottom line, we must be financially creative in this city. I am committed to neighborhood revitalization, work to create a job, reduce crime, and make Schenectady a great place for all of us. Keep supporting the partnership for our summer and youth em employment. Great summer program in both Hillhurst Park and Pool and Steinmetz Park. We'll continue to fund this program. The challenge is to do more with less, to rebuild Schenectady, smarter and cheaper for taxpayer. Thank you. Okay. Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Lisa Perazzo, and I'm running for city council for the first time. And I am endorsed by the Democrats, conservatives, independents, and working families parties. 
And um, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to come tonight and share with you a little bit more about who I am. I was born in the city, city of Schenectady, and I've spent most of my life here. I purchased a home on Thompson Street in Bellevue four years ago. My mom worked for Schenectady City Schools at Elmer Avenue as a teacher's aide for 26 years, and dad was a lifelong employee of General Electric. But for a brief, short six months early on, I worked in Schenectady County. I've had 21 years service in the hospitality industry and held many leadership positions. In the early 90s, I was a proud small business owner of Lisa's Restaurant on Upper State Street. And for the past five years prior to my job now with Proctor's Theater, I was an advocate for business with the Chamber of Schenectady County. I am an active volunteer and I sit on the boards for the Junior League of Schenectady, Heritage Home for Women on Union Street, and A Place for Jazz. And these commitments allow me to serve needy women and children, elderly, and also the arts communities in the city of Schenectady. I was honored to receive the Community Service Award in 2009 from the NAACP. And I mention these details, of course, as a way of demonstrating both my commitment and my love for my hometown. Every aspect of my career and volunteer life has been centered on public service, not governmental, but listening to, taking care of, making connections, and finding solutions for people. The issues important to me are controlling the rise of taxes, encouraging business to stay and locate in Schenectady, tightening up our procurement procedures, and improving our neighborhoods. And I will be speaking more about those things as we go on or in one-to-one -one conversation. My name is Heather Dukes. I'm a resident of the city of Schenectady, and I'd like to thank you all for coming here tonight. I went to Amsterdam High School. I'm just going to give you a little bit of background about myself. And then I attended Union College here in Schenectady, where I majored in sociology and minored in political science. After graduating from Union, I moved to Washington, D.C. and attended American University Law School and received my Juris Doctorate degree. When I um, completed my degree, I moved back here to the area and have been a resident in the city of Schenectady for the past 10 years. I currently work in Runcler County. I work for a not-for-profit entitled Unity House, where I am their in-house attorney. There, I represent indigent survivors of domestic violence and I was also appointed by the 3rd Appellate Division two years ago to serve as an attorney for children in Runcler County Family Court. I have dedicated my life to advocating for people who cannot have the voice to advocate for themselves. And I take pride in the work that I do representing abused and neglected children as well as women who are victims of domestic violence. One of my platform issues that I care very deeply about is, is shedding the light on domestic violence and domestic violence awareness in the city of Schenectady. Public safety is a huge problem here in our city, and some of the residents of Bellevue have told me that public safety is one of their top key issues going into this election season. I would work very hard with the police department to work on those issues. I also believe in strong community and business development and working with other public officials and figuring out ways in which we can lower taxes and increase uh, the revenue here in our great city. And last but not least, I am an attorney who believes in integrity and conducting a ethical law practice. And with that being said, I would push for honesty and budget transparency in our political process. Thank you very much. I don't know if anybody here doesn't know me, but um, I'll give you a short bio just uh, in case. Uh, my name is Jackie Hurd, and I live here in Bellevue. And as the rest of the people up here at the dais, I'm running for city council. Um, I am a lifelong resident of Schenectady and a former General Electric employee. In my career, I've used my talents to apply analytical thinking to find solutions. I have founded a Schenectady business which required hard work, learning new tasks, perseverance, creative thinking, and management skills to bring that business to fruition. As you know, I've led this group, Bellevue Preservation, for the last four years. I believe in being proactive. I think you all know that. I ask hard questions and will not take, well, we've always done it that way, as a valid answer. I've decided to run because, like you, I'm very frustrated 
with the condition of the city, particularly taxes and the lack of progress in renewing our neighborhoods, I have embraced the plat platform of the Alliance Party, which I will basically um, itemize later. I also have been, as we said, endorsed by the Republican Party. As I've been walking around the city, the topic that everyone is first and foremost complaining about to me is high taxes. And they're driving out the homeowners of the, our neighborhoods. We need new leadership to find answers to our urban problems. With high taxes, many homeowners find that they will not invest money into their homes because they feel that they won't be able to sell them at a reasonable, reasonable price. They are, they see, that investment as a very poor one. If they do, well, they sold at lower prices and quite often that will become a, re a rental property. When that happens, there's a spot downward spiral of our neighborhoods, which I will talk about later. I would like to see a new team in the city council. I'd like to see a new mayor, and I'd like to be one of those people. Thank you. You gave the bell to the ex-president, so... <laughs> Anyhow, anyway, I'm Vince Riggi. I've lived in Bellevue all but two, but the first two years of my life. So I've lived here 63 years. I've run for city council once before against Ms. King, and uh, that was back in 2006, I believe. So that was my only turn at running for city council. I've been attending city council meetings for 18 years, and that's more than anybody on the city council, including Joe Allen, who's just finished his 16th year. I know what city council is about. I know what the city is about. I know what neighborhoods are about. And I hear our, uh, in all due respect to my incumbent uh, candidates, uh, we've talked about neighborhoods. They say we're going to address the neighborhoods. Well, this has been said over and over and over again. It hasn't happened. The downtown revitalization is fine. Union Street is fine. All that is fine. But we're suffering in our neighborhoods. That's another reason people have left. Not just high taxes. The quality of life in our neighborhoods has deteriorated to the point that people don't want to live here. They flee. They vote with their feet is what they're doing. So we don't need that anymore. My platform, main platform this year is what I would like to see is a zero tolerance approach to these quality of life issues that everybody is concerned about. I talk about the trash in the streets, the graffiti, people walking in the streets, loose dogs, the whole nine yards. That leads to the main problem with all the other crime that we have here. So when you let things like that go, I want to see a Giuliani approach in Schenectady. That's what I want to see. We have some bad people that live in our city. There's no way of, of politically correcting that. There's some bad people that live in the city of Schenectady. And if they don't want to follow the rules, I'd like to see them move on. We need people that are good citizens to live in this city, to be good neighbors to you and I, like we remember things used to be. So please, don't vote with your feet this year. You know, we can vote for one of us, but don't vote with your feet. You have to vote. Thank you. Thanks. My name is Phil Tiberio. I haven't been a lifelong city resident, but I was born in the city. And then when I was married, I moved back to the city. And then we moved away, and then we came back again about 10 years ago. I live uh, in the GE plot with my wife, uh, two daughters, and I have two granddaughters that now live with us. I am a uh, city business person. I own a business. I've had uh, my business been in the city for 50, actually longer than I've been around. It was 56 years. It was started by my father-in-law. It's called Eastern Typewriter. Then we went to Eastern Office Supply, and now with our third generation, my kids are in the business. We've changed it to a technology company, and we do everything, just about anything that we own in an office, we do. I also own a second business called City Technologies, and we're a lighting and energy design company. My reason for running for city council is if I don't have enough to do with business and kids and things like that is, again, with frustration of taxes and the neighborhoods and the way City Hall is for businesses. We do sell point-of-sale systems, so when people come into the area with new businesses, the stories I hear from them and the stories that they have coming in and out of City Hall about permits and and, and the fees that they have to pay and how hard it is to open a business in the city of Schenectady, it's ridiculous. I'd like to see everything that we have to do as far as getting fees, permits, and things like that to be put online where they could be actually bought. You have a rental property, you need that rental certificate, you can go online, get your rental certificate, get your inspections done, 
everything done online so it's nice, simple, and easy, and you don't have to spend that time in City Hall. The, the frustration of having to go there and, and seeing people that would start businesses go to Rotterdam, go to Scotia, go out of the area. I, I, I mean, I, I see it every day. Thank you. Okay. 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 Out that the city residents still do feel not feel safe within this neighborhood, your neighborhoods. Number one, what suggestions do you propose to alleviate the fears of Bellevue residents and others? Number two, if police efficiency does not improve the situation, would you recommend the disbanding of the police force? You have a minute and a half. George will signal at 15 seconds when you have 15 seconds left. Okay. Thank you for that question. Uh, prior to this debate, I spoke to some residents of Bellevue by telephone, and maybe some of you are here tonight. And that is absolutely correct. Public safety is a huge problem here in Bellevue. I've heard countless stories of people telling me break-ins, people going into the abandoned buildings and engaging in criminal activity, possible drug dealing going on in the streets here, businesses being robbed, and it is definitely a problem. I believe that we need to take a partnership approach here in terms of working with the police department, working with the mayor. I would propose that I would have monthly meetings with the members of the police force, those in charge of public safety, to try to take a more proactive approach to solving crime. Mr. Rigby Benson referenced a Rudy Giuliani approach to public safety and fighting crime. When he took office as mayor, we all know New York City was plagued with very bad crime. And he took a proactive approach, had weekly meetings, developed a committee and task force to deal with the specific crime issues. And I believe that that's absolutely what needs to be done. Um, in addition to that, I want to commend the people who are involved in Neighborhood Watch. I think you're doing an outstanding job here, and that needs to continue. And we together, as a community, need to work together on those particular issues. So I thank you very much. Uh, I, I think, first of all, I guess I want to say I think we have made some major strides with our police department um, in terms of, you know, getting some of the folks out of there who should have, have been, you know, gone a long time ago. Um, and I know crime is certainly an issue everywhere. Uh, one of the things that um, Gary McCarthy w was describing was a situation where he did a ride-along with the police department. And uh, the number of 911 calls that come in for ridiculous reasons. Um, he, he apparently went to a place that there was complaints about noise. And I guess it was just a family gathering, you know, and it was a little bit loud. And then everybody agreed to, you know, quiet down and they left. Got another call, had to dispatch, and the first time they had to dispatch to at least three cars. Uh, the second time they dispatched again, um, and this time it was, I think, a complaint of trespassing, um, where one of the neighbors was sort of on his side of the property with his foot on the other person's property, and they called the police to come because he was trespassing. Um, and I know I did a ride along with the fire department not too long ago also, and Again, one of the calls that they had to dispatch to was an issue with a, a couple who basically who had been having an argument. The woman called and she said he, she thought her husband w was dying. He was actually just, he just laid down on the bed. And uh, then they were kind of mad at one another and they, they needed cigarettes. And they, she was nervous and wanted cigarettes. And it's, so if we can find a way, I think, also to crack down on some of that. Uh, so that we can then more efficiently dispatch our police and fire to the calls where they're really needed. I think that will certainly help. Next, Jackie. <coughs> okay, um, I think we all agree, I don't think there's going to be any dispute on that, that public safety is a problem in the city. Um, I'm going to ask, answer the end of your question first. I think you asked, do we think the police department should be disbanded? Uh, my answer is no. Uh, I don't think that's necessary. Um, we did hire um, a few years ago a police commissioner, uh, Commissioner Bennett. Um, I think he's done a reasonably good job, particularly um, over the last few years, getting rid of the problem uh, police officers, as we, as we had mentioned earlier. I do also agree that, and I have said this many, many times, we need the people in the neighborhoods and the neighborhood associations to interact with the police department. We, get to, we need to know each other. We need to respect each other. Now, um, 
Neighborhood Watch. I know Jim Weaver isn't here tonight, but he's done a good job. And so has um, George and several, of the, and Patty, and uh, I don't want to leave anybody out, but they, they are doing, in Bellevue, doing a great job. And I'm assuming they are doing a good job in the rest of the city. Going back to what Ms. King just said a minute ago, when I read in the paper the other day that there were 19 calls to a bar, um, I have a problem with that. Yes, it's a problem, but I also have another problem, and that is, why did not management, why didn't they know that there were 19 nuisance calls to one bar? I understand that the acting mayor took some action, but in my mind, there's a breakdown in communication of the, of the foot patrol officer, the guy who's riding around, and speaking to his um, superiors and letting them know where those problems are. Because those 19 calls that were made, 15 of those calls probably should not have been made, maybe more. And maybe we would have had faster response in some of the other calls that we've made to the police department. So there are several problems, but those are my thoughts on it. Thank you. Thank you. Public safety is a con concern for all of us in Schenectady. My approach is that we have to work with the police department and community group to help the police improve their image and at the same time reduce crime in our community and improve the quality of life for all of us. We have to work with the police department and involve community. Community involvement is vital and can help us build the image back in our police department. I don't believe in disbanding the police or, um, department. We have to work together. Thank you. Anyhow, we, I don't think we can even think about disbanding the police department, uh, but I would like to see, and I've been on this for many years, even when I ran in 2006, I would like to see more cooperation with our other policing agencies like the sheriff, and we also have auxiliary police that we could use for small crimes uh, and, and things like that. I don't think anybody cares if they have a problem with color uniform somebody has on. And I, we pay with our tax dollars to all of these agencies, even the state police. So I think anybody that could help in Schenectady is certainly going to be a boom. But again, this will go back to my zero tolerance approach. I think when we can finally get this going, and hopefully, and I'm going to stay on this, whether I'm elected or not, I'm not going to give up on this. I think it's really an important component of having safe streets in our, in our city. And we also need the police to somehow somehow we're going to have to get them together and decide to have centralized booking, centralized dispatch, which we've been talking about for years. It hasn't happened. We have to have some cooperation with the county on this. The county does use a lot of service in the city of Schenectady, and I hope they realize that, that we provide uh, in the city. So if we can get cooperation between the departments somehow, there was a $50,000 study done last year, and basically nobody wants to give an inch, and we can't have that because we're all suffering. As a city goes, so does the county. As a county goes, so does the city. So I certainly would like to see some consolidation of all our policing efforts. Thank you. Lisa. 